Hi, I'm Barbie McCormick with Sew so Good, and I'm gonna show you how to sew on a button. Here's how to sew on a button. First, you need to know where your button is gonna be sewn. And if you have to, um, if your button has popped off of a garment, it'll already be marked. So if you only have standard sewing thread instead of like a heavy, a heavy jean thread or something like that, then what I like to do to make it sturdier and quicker to sew it on is I take about a yard of thread and I fold the thread in half and I thread both ends through the needle. Okay. So now I've got a total of four strands of thread that I'll be sewing my button on with, which makes it uh, stronger and easier than sewing, taking four stitches and sewing it all, all at different times. Okay, so I put in a knot and I cut my thread right near the knot and then where my buttonhole, my, where my button is going to go, I just take a tiny stitch and I put the stitch where my button is going to be, I put it on the fold. Now these are shank buttons and this is called the shank when it's a button that doesn't have the holes all the way through it such as this one. So, and there's different kind of shanks but if you're sewing, they're often on overcoats or uh, pants. And I, I just put the shank next to the fold and I take my, a tiny stitch through the fabric and then through the shank. And just take generally two or three stitches is more than enough because you don't want your thread stronger than your fabric because the next time your button pops off, you might rip a hole in your fabric. And then to, to end it, I just take a couple of little stitches in the fold of the fabric. And then I bury the end. I take my needle and put it through between my layers of fabric and just cut it off right there. And now my button is all sewn and the back, the back is nice and tidy.